the 17th of August, 1962. A glorious summer's day. West Berlin student Margit Hosseini plans to celebrate her birthday near Checkpoint Charlie. Instead, she witnesses border guards shooting East Berliner Peter Fechter as he tries to escape. He is left lying in the death strip, seriously injured. Margit can do nothing but stand by and watch as he dies a slow death. This bar. It was a traumatic experience for all of us, watching that young man there and hearing him scream for help. At first they were perfectly normal cries for help, then he started to plead and he got quieter and quieter, as if his life was gradually seeping out of his body. It was terrible, really terrible. No one dares help the dying man, neither the Americans nor the West Berlin police. The GDR border guards do not move either. An hour passes before the guards retrieve the lifeless body. And the images are seen the world over. They come to symbolize the inhumanity of the violent division of Berlin. The public death of Peter Fechter provokes a shockwave that quietly develops into protest. Riots break out that night. U.S. soldiers and police have to keep demonstrators away from the sector border, becoming targets themselves in the process. The mayor of Berlin urges calm. When we are if we tolerate these kinds of riots, then we're playing the same game as the other side. Our enemies are just waiting for us to lose our temper. So I ask you to remain level-headed, even though you may be angry.